New at noon, July 4th is designated as a free fishing day. And joining us live to tell us all about it is Jeff Rosamond with the Mississippi Department of Wildlife, Fisheries and Parks. How are you, Jeff? I'm good, I'm good. All right, good. so explain free fishing day. So basically what it is, is uh, what I like to call is a license free fishing day. So you don't have to have a Mississippi fishing license to fish public waters on, on this day, uh, July the 4th. Now that does not exempt you from uh, paying park fees. So each park that you go to, you will have to pay their, their fishing you know, fee for that, that park. Mm -hmm. um, and what, what we're hoping to see is uh, people that come out that maybe fish you like you know, once, a, once a year. So that, you know they can utilize this where they don't have to go out and pay you know for a fishing license, or for the the people that uh, you know that's never fished before. This is a good opportunity to say, hey, I, I don't have to purchase a fishing license to fish on on you know on this day. Okay. Now, when it comes to fish, what kind of fish can people expect to catch in the in the different public waters? Waters, right. So uh, your main species you're looking at bass, brim, crappie, catfish. So this time of year, brim, uh, people catch a lot of brim, they catch a lot of bass uh, and a lot of catfish. Uh, the crappie are, tend to be pretty deep this time of year, so they're harder to target. Uh, you can still catch them, but not everybody's catching them. <laughs> okay, and um, before we let you go, anything else you want to talk about free fishing day? So what I would say is, is that we uh, urge the people to come out, visit your local park, your state parks or state lakes. Uh, especially in our area here, you've got multiple to choose from, Trey State Park, Tom Bigby, Lamar Bruce, Lake Monroe, Elvis Presley. So you have a lot of uh, options for you to come fish. All right, then. Thank you so much there, Jeff. Thank we'll you. be right back.